cherries. Mm, yum. But not easy to eat if you're a bird, because they're large and they have large pits. And birds are adept with their beaks, more skillful than any human with chopsticks. But still, I mean, try getting the pit out of a cherry using chopsticks. You'll get a pit with a gooey mess clinging to it. People prefer not to swallow cherry pits, but for a bird, doing so would be like swallowing a marble. An Aggie at that. Even so, when our cherries are ripe, the birds show up. Sometimes they pick the whole cherry, but mostly they gouge pieces out. Serviceberry trees now are less well known than cherry trees because most people don't eat service berries. Too small. But they're bite sized for birds and very popular. No need to peck bits of them loose, just grab one if you can wrestle it loose and swallow it. Maybe add a bite of salad. A bird might need to jump for the berry, but at least his downward momentum will yank it loose and it'll be easier to swallow than a cherry. And the majority of the traffic in our berry trees is juvenile robins. The adults show up, but I think maybe they're still eating more worms than fruit. Juvenile grackles like berries too. I like them even better if mom or papa will feed morsels to them. Begging is as much work as getting the food for themselves, but you know how kids are. Now, I'll admit that attracting robins and grackles to your yard is no remarkable feat. All you have to do is, like, not shoot them. But it's nice to see them happy. And berry trees will give you a gander at less common species. Hear that catbird singing in the tree next door? Well, he likes to skulk in the woods behind our house, but he'll show himself several times a day in our yard for service berries. Ditto the brown thrasher. What a stately bird with his long tail and beak, streaked breast, and yellow goggle eyes. We don't usually get orioles, tanagers, or cedar waxwings, but if they're in your neighborhood, hint, hint, those brilliant birds love colorful berries. Birds are opportunistic eaters, and almost all of them will eat berries. Seed eaters like cardinals and sparrows, they'll eat them. So do insectivores like the brown thrasher. Crackles will eat almost anything but plastic bottle caps. The more adaptable a bird is in its eating habits, the better chance that the species will thrive. The birds in our yard have already polished off the mulberries. When the cherries and service berries are gone, they'll move on to elderberries, dogwood berries, and beauty berries. In the fall and winter, they'll eat winter berries and holly berries. Only early spring in the Midwest lacks berries. But there are dozens of berry-producing shrubs and trees, so it's easy to plant enough of them to have at least one berry on the bird menu nine months of the year. <laughs>